It may sound odd, but many household appliances that we use every day are, theoretically, heat exchangers. They enable the exchange of thermal energy between two fluids, which can either be liquid or gaseous, without coming into contact with each other. In this video, we will show you how a heat exchanger works. JAWS, leader in industrial spare parts supply for over 10 years, has become the trusted partner for all those companies that need heat exchange systems and offers in its catalog every type of heat exchanger from the major manufacturers. The first prototype of heat exchanger appeared during the Roman Empire. In Roman baths, hot water baths were obtained by the combustion fumes of a brazier which heated several stone slabs. Later, the water flowed over the hot slabs, allowing heat exchange. However, the first real heat exchangers were invented during the Middle Ages for the distillation of alcoholic beverages. For the condensation of the distillate, workers use coils, and this system is so efficient that we still use it nowadays. These machines are called shell and tube heat exchangers. To better understand the operation of the heat exchanger, let's take a look inside a common plate heat exchanger. The plate heat exchanger consists of a sequence of machined plates in order to increase the contact surface with the fluids. Each plate has four holes, two feed holes, and two drain holes. Between each pair of plates, a gasket which guarantees the hydraulic seal towards the outside and around the passage holes is placed. In this way, a passage chamber for the fluid is formed. The gaskets, according to their design, slide between two plates, either the hot fluid or the cold fluid. Alternating a hot chamber with a cold chamber in the entire heat exchanger results in a more efficient heat exchange process between the two liquids. It is also important that the fluids flow in opposite directions in fact, as we can see, the cold fluid gasket makes the fluid to flow from the lower supply hole to the upper drain hole while completely plugging the hot fluid holes. On the other hand, the hot fluid gasket makes the hot fluid flow from the upper feed hole to the lower drain hole and completely plugs the cold fluid holes. This countercurrent exchange helps the fluid circulation, improving the efficiency of the heat exchanger because the heated cold fluid will decrease in density and start to rise, while the cooled hot fluid will increase its density and start to fall. Plate heat exchangers are largely used on direct heating systems. A large power plant produces hot temperature steam, which is then sent to the homes through delivery pipes and return pipes. Here, the heat exchangers act as an interface between the steam from the distribution network and the water from the heating system. The entire city of New York is heated this way, but the system is used in many other large cities. Heat exchangers, thanks to their heat exchange capabilities, have the most varied forms of uses. Let's see some examples. As we have already shown in our video about how a thermoelectric power plant works, the whole operating principle is based on heat exchange power. The water tube boiler, for example, is a type of tubular exchanger, as are the condenser and the deaerator. Even the cooling towers are large heat exchangers, which transfer the excess temperature of the liquid directly into the Earth's atmosphere. It is very interesting to observe how man-made machines use various types of energy to do a job. The more efficient the machine, the more energy used is converted into work. The energy that hasn't been transformed to perform a specific job is not lost into thin air, but has turned into heat inside the machine, which will be finally expelled into the atmosphere. As we have shown in our video about cars, this feature is very clear. In fact, only about 30% of the exploded fuel is transformed into movement. The remaining energy is converted into heat to be efficiently dissipated into the atmosphere it is necessary to find a finned packed heat exchanger called radiator. Have you ever wondered how refrigerators work? Refrigerators and freezers use the refrigeration cycle by means of two heat exchangers, an evaporator inside 
and a condenser outside. Watch our video on how ultra freezers work. If you found this video useful, let us know by leaving a like and a comment. You can also share it, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Also, visit our website, jawscompany.com, to find out more about our next projects.